video I'm sharing 8 nature play ideas for 2 year olds. Hi everyone, I'm Cara, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As many of you will already know, I'm mum to 2 year old Ben and we are very passionate about getting our little guy outdoors. In this video, I'm sharing eight of his absolute favourite outdoor woodland activities. However, I absolutely have to stress that we just do one of these once in a while just to make walks a little bit different. Most of the time, he just has unstructured play to do as he wants in the forest and it is so amazing to see what he does. I did make a video like this last year when Ben was just one, so I will link that above and below in case you want to check that out too. And make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already and would like to see more toddler activity videos just like this one. So let's get started with my 8 nature play ideas for 2 year olds. Activity number 1 is to create a journey stick. This is so easy to do, you just have to find a large stick with your little one in the forest and we need to take some twine. You just tie it to the top, wind it down a little bit and then tie it around halfway down. The idea is as they walk through the forest they can collect things that they find interesting and just to tuck them into their journey stick. Ben is so excited when he walks through the forest with one of these and he's always so proud of what he creates and then obviously make sure that you take that twine away with you as well when you're leaving. My next activity is to create some cardboard cutouts. Now I just made these ones, I drew some pictures that made sense for when we were outdoors and then using a craft knife I just cut out the holes. Then wherever you put them, you can see through them and see whatever background is there. So you can hold them in front of flowers, in front of different plants, in front of bark. And they're always going to make, in this case, your butterfly or your caterpillar look different. Next, I would totally recommend getting hold of a magnifying glass. We recently picked up this one, it was actually Ben's Easter present and I will link it below because I would totally recommend it. With the two handles it really helps toddlers to be able to position it and it's pretty light as well. Then when you're out on a walk, you just take your magnifying glass with you and you can look closer at things like leaves, penguins, bugs. There's so much to discover and it's really fascinating when you can actually, for example, look at all the tiny legs of a millipede. I also think this is something that he's really going to grow into and use more in the years to come too. My next activity is definitely a classic and that is to do some building in the forest. We have a few different versions of this activity that we really like to do. The absolute classic is building a den, which is really easy with just finding a tree that's at a bit of an angle and lots of sticks. Ben also loves to add some extra touches like building a little pretend campfire. This, I think, is also the activity that Thomas and I really enjoy doing most with Ben. And you can also take, for example, a tarp if it's a bit wet to sit on inside your den and have a little snack. Another version of this is to do some bird nest building. Ben is very into this at the moment because he is really loving birds. It's just collecting things like dried grass and leaves and sticks from around the forest floor and turning them into the shape of a little bird's nest. We also take some of our sorting eggs which Ben can then put on them and he loves to pretend and talk about what type of bird nest it is. And the final version here is to do a little bit of dam building at a small stream. Now obviously you have to be a little bit careful here that you're always supervising your child near water and that it's not so deep that they might fall in and get wet and very uncomfortable. However, this is a really nice one for them to watch the flowing water, change its course perhaps, just a little bit. Thomas particularly is a huge fan of this one because he has a geography degree and loves sharing some of that knowledge with Ben. My next activity is to create a cardboard vase. So to make this, I just took a piece of cardboard from a recycling, drew a little vase on it, some stalks, and then poked some little holes through it just using a toothpick. The idea is that you can pick flowers and then thread them through and it looks like a full vase of flowers. Now I would totally recommend caution with this one. We try to encourage Ben not to just pick flowers because obviously they're there for the bees and for other people to enjoy. I only ever do it if the flowers are going to be used for another purpose or if for example the grass is about to be cut and the heads of the daisies and buttercups are going to be chopped off in the garden anyway. 
With the ones that have been picked for this, they are lesser celandines, a type of buttercup, and we're actually making some wildflower artwork, we're pressing flowers, so they're going to be used for another purpose too. My next activity is nature cutting, which definitely follows on from that. And when I said that we only cut or pick things that are going to be used for another purpose, we are big fans of foraging and right now is a great time for wild garlic. So Ben took his scissors to the forest. If these are fantastic, I have talked about them before, but they're so good because when Ben presses claws, then they just ping back open. So it's a really great way for toddlers to learn to cut. I'll link those below as well. But we take these with us and Ben can cut the stalks of the wild garlic and collect them in our bag. I think that foraging is a great way to connect toddlers with nature and I also think it's so important for them to learn what things they can eat and what things that they certainly can't. Give the bud to you. Thank you, Jane. Alpha, alpha oh. me, that one. Okay. <laughs> Super. If, however, you are not at all comfortable with the idea of foraging, you can also do this just with leaves that you find on the ground. It's really nice, for example, to cut it up into lots of little pieces to make leaf confetti for a post-Covid celebration. Activity number seven, another classic, and that is to do some bark rubbing. So really simply, you can just take either sheets of paper or we absolutely love these big IKEA rolls of paper and take them to a tree or around a tree just using some masking tape tends to work pretty well. Then using a crayon, you can take rubbings of the bark. You can also just collect some leaves when you're out and about and do this with some leaves at home. It makes some really beautiful pictures that then, for example, I like to cut out and put on cards. My final one is definitely the easiest and the one that is definitely Ben's favourite and that is to find a little shallow stream or big puddle to do some water play. So nearby where we live, we have a forest which has a very shallow little, we call it Ben's mini gorge walk. He can just walk up and down as he pleases, splashing in it, throwing stones in it, sticking sticks in it. The play potential here is endless and Ben would spend the whole day just playing in this little stream. And if you don't have easy access to one, a paddling pool with a shallow bit of water, some wellies and some stones in the garden is definitely just as fun. I'd love to know if you have any other activities to add things that your little ones are loving doing outdoors. Please leave them below in the comments to share with me and give me some ideas and with other parents too. Remember to hit like if you've enjoyed it and I hope you'll join me again in another video. Bye bye!